Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Typically, I don't necessarily talk about boxing, but I really wanted to talk about it today. Last night, Jake Paul fought Mike Platinum Perry. Now, Jake, uh, Mike Perry has had a lot of success since leaving the UFC with Bare Knuckle, and I really, really thought Mike Perry would be able to show Jake Paul a few things besides just being a punching bag. Um, but I, I really thought Mike Perry would be able to show uh, his power because Jake Paul makes mistakes. He even made some mistakes last night, but I got to give credit where credit's due. Jake Paul looked really, really damn good. Now I did talk about, uh, uh Jake Paul is going to have the speed advantage 100% and Mike Perry has to make him pay with his power. And Mike Perry just didn't do that. He, you know, he was very flat footed. He didn't close the distance like I thought he would. He also didn't make um, uh, Jake Paul pay when he made mistakes. There was a few times where Jake had him hurt and he would overthrow and Mike Perry would just stand there and block or eat punches and not return fire. You know, so again, I got to give props to Jake Paul because Jake Paul looked damn good. And I got to say this as well. That fight with, uh, Mike, uh, with uh, Mike Tyson absolutely should be uh, canceled. If that fight right there last night doesn't show that, I don't understand what will. Because if Mike Perry at 32 years old can't return fire from Jake Paul, Mike, Mike Tyson's not going to be able to either. And I'm telling you this right now 1,000%. Mike Tyson can't take those shots that uh, Mike Perry took. Cannot. Cannot. Now, was Mike Perry as tough as they come? God, yes. We already knew how tough Mike Perry was. The reason why I thought Mike Perry would be able to do good things against Jake Paul was because Mike Perry is, Jesus, very durable. You know, obviously, he's very durable. But he's also a boxer. Now, some guy was saying he's a boxer, but he's a boxer for MMA, which, yeah, sure, that's true. You know, that's true. But he's also a bare knuckle. That's not necessarily true. Because even bare knuckle boxing is different than MMA boxing. And I don't know if it's a thing where Mike Perry would have done better with smaller gloves because Jake wouldn't have been able to just throw as much as he was because of the big padding, you know, the big ass gloves he has on. I don't know. Uh, but last night, Jake Paul showed he can box a little. He's He can box a little. I got to give him props. He looked good. He beat the shit out of, Jake, out of uh, Mike Perry. He beat him up for six rounds. The only reason why that fight went longer than it should have went was because Mike Perry kept getting up. Mike Perry kept smiling at him. That's it. That's the only reason. Now, Mike Perry did talk about in the uh, break in the uh, post fight that he broke his rib very early in the fight that that was really uh, um, hindering him in that matchup, which, sure, fine, but defensively, you weren't doing very well. Jake Paul landed so many strikes. And just the the toughness of Mike Perry is what made that fight a fight. There's a couple of times where Mike Perry could have just stayed down. You know, now, I do think that that is going to be overshadowed. Oh, yeah, Mike Perry looked like crap. Yeah, he didn't look very good. He didn't look very good. He didn't. But he also showed us there is holes in Jake Paul's, in Jake Paul's game. There is moments to capitalize on. Now, a boxer, a boxer who boxes in boxing will give Jake Paul problems because the thing that Jake Paul was having success with was uh, his movement. When, when Mike Perry would circle, Jake Paul would do the correct thing and he would cut him off and then throw. So in like an octagon when that happens, you see the other guy circle or shoot a takedown or move forward. Mike Perry couldn't go anywhere. So he was stuck. And defensively, he's not great. So he was able to catch him every single time he did that. That's like if me and another guy are circling and this guy takes that step and circle and takes that, that angle, he has that momentum to land now. And that's what Jake Paul was doing the entire time. You know, he did very, very well in circling and closing that distance. So, again, I got to give props to Jake Paul. But 1,000, the takeaway right now is Mike Tyson cannot fight Jake Paul. I understand the temptation to see Mike Tyson, if he can beat Jake Paul. Sure, 
What's the best thing that happened? Best case scenario. The Mike Tyson catches Jake Paul early and puts him out. That's the best case scenario. Because the worst case scenario is it only takes one, maybe by chance, two drops to finish Mike Tyson. And I think the strikes that Jake Paul landed on Mike Perry puts Mike Tyson out cold. There, I said it. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. My fights for UFC 304 will be up uh, tomorrow. As always, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you're picking. Peace.